Holy fuck. Okay. That was not at all expected. Nutritious. Oh. Uh, resist fire, 41 corruption, rockbreaker heart, and blaze, the much needed blaze that I need. Welcome back, everyone. I am uh, practically done with this game. I, I should not have to go through this much stress in a video game. At least this video game. <laughs> <coughs> oh god, what is that? Oh, I think I know what that is. Yeah, I know precisely what that is. Go get him, boy. Sunfall. The Mad King drowns Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. That's what I'm hoping. We can stop tensing up. Oh, what is this I see? A side quest giver. These are desperate times. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. <laughs> And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... Uh, difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... soul is in shadow? Galiv. That's him. He's very clever, but... he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. This doesn't make any sense. One day he had a little I'll cough, the, the next he broke. Well, time to do a side quest. <laughs> Let's 
see here. Hiller's Oath. Well, he doesn't seem to be that far. Yeah, he's not that far. This will be easy. Whatever work the mercenaries are doing, at least the hard work. Easier than uh, dealing with two underground machines. That's for certain. Taking up all my medicinal berries. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but I needed the blaze. <laughs> now, isn't there a corrupted zone over here? It says there is, but I don't see it. Oh, well. The Forbidden West. <coughs> Rita, if you would know of the Forbidden West, there are none more qualified to be your teller than I, the considerate Udain, healer of Blazen Arch. Why? For I yet live, unlike the outlanders who gasped or shrieked the tales that follow. Foolhardy bla blazons and madcaps all. They were brought to me near death, poisoned, mortally wounded, or driven witless by what they had experienced in the lands beyond the daunt. With such wounds, it was all I could do to ease their pain and try to make notes from their ranting. As the sun shines upon me, I cannot vouch for the full truth of these tales. I only hope they will satisfy your curiosity and turn you from the path that led these imprudent explorers and daredevil trekkers to their deaths. 
though each account differs, it is certain that the western lines are most unlike our own. Some crossed deserts of palest white, others deserts others deserts the colour of fire, or even limitless sweeps of blue sand that seem to reflect the sky above, broken only by the remains of ancient machines. Others spoke of vast prairies of tall grass, each blade sharp enough to draw blood, dotted with shivering black flowers, or incalculable plains of dried mud cracked with a great mosaic. At night, unknown animals watch with glowing eyes, and strange birds, all the colours of kites and fireworks, chitter and call out in men's voices. That would be velociraptors. <laughs> Most extraordinary of all are those reports of a lake 100 times the size of the, of the daybreak, so wide the far shores cannot be made out, and so deep that an entire city of the ancients stands drowned within. The water is sour to the taste and sickening, and it, it is said to rise up and push back against those who attempt to cross. I think you're talking about the ocean, mate. <laughs> it would seem that dead cities without number have been consumed by the shifting dunes in the west, their skeletal towers mired in seas of sand. The wind is heard to sing a low, mournful song through these ruins, or through the skeletons of vast metal birds now fallen, or over great metal balls now filled with depths of black water, where fish dart like shooting stars. That song of ruin, rising from a hum to a howl, still haunted these men and women as they thrashed and sweated in unquiet sleep. But though the western lands are harsh, and even their beauty hides dangers, it is not the land alone that swallows up all who venture within, that inflicts the brands and wounds suffered by those few fortunate enough to return. Oh yes, all have spoken of new machines in the west, machines more strange and terrible than any found in the sundom. With their fingernails, dying witnesses have scratched out impossible shapes, or, if they still possessed several limbs and vocal organs, mimicked jerking movements and imitated awful sounds, all belonging in the throes of madness. What manner of men can live where the sun goes at night? These tales were the most chilling. One spoke of drinkers of machine blood, their lips and tongues stained, their teeth replaced with metal. Another described youths of pale as uh, youths as pale as ash, all wearing the same faces, who hunt silently and tirelessly in the night. Still, another told of a tribe seen only from afar, whose folk busied themselves digging deep pits in the sand only to fill them in again for unknowable reasons, while another tribe was only glimpsed on the waters of the Great Lake riding their thin, dark boats. O oh, son, a half of me regrets scribing these stories, for they inspire questions that can only be answered by yet more doomed expeditions, and yet I must tell the tales for what else reminds of these poor and wretched men and women. If they sought riches, they found none to burn back, nothing save a handful of black silt or a curiosity stamped curiously stamped piece of metal, a chunk of desert glass with shifting hue, or an old smooth shell. I have kept all these things to remind me of those who went in search of the forbidden and paid for it dearly. Reader, if you think yourself an adventurer, heed the warning in this old man's collection of strange small things, and go not into the forbidden west. Well, I'm so sorry to say this, but that is where the sequel is going to be. <laughs> Winds are driving up a storm. Word is that the Outlanders are only here to weed out traitors. So I'm actually really curious now about the Forbidden West.
Are you Galeev? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself. But you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tent city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. <laughs> Why not? Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What if I make you? What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. And take it up with the Citadel. They decide who lives and dies. Nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if I use the last of my stock on a tent girl. Are you sure about that? <laughs> You're kind of an ass, healer. There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. Please don't worry, I still have one. For a while. Those parts aren't Please exactly tell me I still have one. By. As it happens, a thunder jaw <laughs> prowls the Valley of Omens, north and west of here. I, know I should it still have one. They expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. I knew I was hanging on to it. It's not for you. No, I'm not Please. expecting you to do it at all. Please tell me I have one. I'll be one. heading back to the Citadel later. Thunder jaw hearts. I have to have one. Uh, resources. Thunderjaw, 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 Thunderjaw. Thunderjaw. Please. I have to have one. No, no, no. I don't have a Thunderjaw heart. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait. No, I don't. Why not take a Deathbringer heart or a Rockbreaker heart? Ravager, Glenthawk, Stalker, Sawtooth, Longleg, Bellowback, Trampler, uh, Lancehorn, Broadhead, Shellwalker, Grazer, Scrapper. Oh, I have a lot of Scrapper hearts. I could probably do to sell a few of those. Uh, Watcher. Wow, why do I have so many Watcher hearts? Strider, Jesus, I don't have a, uh... Well, I guess I know what I'm doing now. I'm going to get a Thunderjaw heart! I Hooray! A Vod's a murderer. Uh, this is just. I, I, I feel like this is a never ending sea of fetch quests for side quests. Gotta go fetch the healer. Oh, the healer doesn't want to go? Gotta fetch a. Uh, a shiny thing, a shiny trinket for the healer. Where's the shiny trinket? I gotta go kill a monster.
Why can't I just use my charisma? My level one charisma. <laughs> Alright, where's this thunder jaw? Actually, where is... <sighs> okay, the thunder jaw is that way. Was that? No, that's fire kill. Where Aha! There they are. No, that's not that. Is it that? No, that. Hey, I remember that twin lake. Aha, there you are. It's still from me. This is where I Okay, that's off. Trying to intimidate me. That will get. At the most, you were just taunting me. All right, did you drop the thingy? You did. Yeah, this thing is dangerous. Perfect. Now we can take on the Thunderjaw. And hopefully get the Thunderjaw heart. Hopefully. And hopefully this one little Ravager cannon can do the job for me. I, uh, I'm starting to have some doubts now. Just a few. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it up this way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. <gasps> yes. Oh god, that is a long way down. And hopefully I don't drop this because this is my secret weapon against the Thunderjaw. Shut up, Aloy. You call this. This 
has to be the place. The Thunderjaw shouldn't be hard to find. Just hope I see it before it sees me. You, uh, you don't, you don't sigh. Ah, uh, yes, the Thunderjaw. Come here, big man, time to die. No, don't, don't walk away from me. <laughs> Fucking get back here, please. Why do you walk so fast? almost exactly how I wanted it to. And I got the Thunderjaw Heart, so now I can fucking make my way back. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it back before the end of the episode though. It's just not possible because of the bloody trap system. That and I'm all out of fast travel parks, so I... <coughs> Yeah. Who the bloody hell is fighting the machines? Oh, bandits or cultists. One of the two. Now. Aha, more medicinal berries. Perfect. Keep quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> 